Here's my list of tools you should pick up at the Harbor Freight parking lot sale. Going over the items that I actually have and use in this sale, and of course, the items you definitely should not pick up. The first item that caught my eye was the microfiber towels, of course. No, okay, not the microfiber towels, but the titanium welder and the Chicago Electric, but currently don't have that, so we're not gonna talk about that one. You've heard me talk about the titanium plenty. I'm not gonna dive too far into it. Check out my latest videos for an actual recent updated review of the 125. Definitely worth it, and 129 bucks is the best deal of the year that they have it for. Gloves. Now with them being so cheap, make sure you pick up a couple boxes and don't forget the nine mil thick ones for those heavy duty projects. The bright orange ratchet straps. It's always good just to have one or two pair just sitting in the back of the truck. Buckets, tarps, they're all cheap. Just throw it in. Know that these are the cheapest ones. And so, you know, the tie downs, they don't last that long. The tarps even less. But for the little easy, quick, you know, weekend projects, if you need it for, they work. The Hercules kit, okay? Now this deal is if you buy one of the kits, meaning it already has the battery charger and the uh, drill, then you get an additional four amp hour battery. So this isn't the best deal that they have around. They've put on before, if you buy the tool only for $99, then you get a five amp hour battery and charger. So it's kind of a trade off, you know, whether you need more batteries or tools. I've gone down the Hercules road. So this is one of the, actually the kits that they now offer a impact and drill combo kit. So if you don't have either, great deal, pick it up or wait until the next page. The one thing I'd stay away from on this page are the batteries. They really are that cheap for a reason because they honestly don't even work. The one item I don't have on this page that I'm eyeing during the sale would be those Icon ratchets, 40% off. That's a killer deal for any Icon item. It does beg the question of if you can put it for 40% off, then how much are they overcharging regularly? On to page two. So as mentioned earlier, I went down the Hercules route. So if you wanna go red, looks like these are some great deals from Bauer. The Hercules bandsaw stand. Now for the $89, it does not include the bandsaw. It is just the stand, well worth it. And the best thing is it's universal. So it works with, you know, Hercules, Bauer, I think the Walt and Milwaukee. Don't quote me on that, but regardless, you don't have to have the Hercules bandsaw to use the universal stand. We got more welding stuff. We got a welding cart. I'd highly suggest getting one of these, even if you just want a cart just to put stuff on for around the garage. I might go pick up myself another one. The welding helmet, I have used that one in the past. It works for a cheap one, not the most comfortable, but it will auto darken, which is what you want when you're just starting out welding. If you're just starting out and have never welded, go to the first page, get the Titanium 125, if you want to bump it up or you have the funds and want to do multiple processes, get the Omni Pro 220. It's an awesome machine and it does have a bunch of the TIG features like a foot pedal for amperage control. For the cheap yellow boxed items down at the bottom, pick up the safety glasses, get some zip ties and always have the drill bits on hand. The one thing I would not get on this page is the rotary tool. That thing, I mean, I think my toothbrush has more torque than that. Haven't had best luck, unless maybe you're working on little models or intricate stuff, might work for that. The one item that I am eyeing that I might go pick up is the Bauer drill press. Mine's getting a little older, it's on its last legs, so I might be picking up another Bauer tool. Well, page three's gonna go by pretty quick. So up top in the corner, they got the Predator. 13 horsepower. I, I've been banking on them putting the 212 in a sale coming up and they haven't. I've got a go-kart just sitting waiting for an engine. So Harbor Freight, please put the 212 on sale. Regardless, I do have a couple of those shop lights, which I'm not going to pull down, but they work. They're pretty good. For the hand truck, they've actually got the 800 pound one on sale. It's, it's got, it's slightly a bit bigger and a little more beefier. This one's like the 700 pound. I'm not a mover, so this thing does just fine. Now my two cents with hand trucks though are, 
Do not get the kinds with the pneumatic tires. Get hard tires. The pneumatic tires they put on there are so cheap, you're gonna be pumping them up all the time, or you're going to be at the bottom of the page, which I wonder if that's a coincidence, buying the little 10 inch pneumatic tires for, what do they got, 498 on sale? You're gonna be buying a bunch of those. And speaking of the bottom of the page, um, I actually jumped the gun on the last page with the zip ties. I don't know where, or maybe I glanced over and saw them, but zip ties are actually on page three. No one cares. But the other thing I'd pick up is their flashlight. Now they have the, this one's the little mini one. They got the fat one. It's my boy's favorite flashlight and he's already lost it numerous times. He can't remember where he put it this time. The item I would not buy on this page are those pneumatic 10 inch tires. Unless you bought a hand truck with pneumatic tires and I mean, just switch them out with the hard tires right now, okay? The item on this page I have been eyeing is actually the Predator Power Washer. It's about time to make the step up to a bigger, higher pressure, pressure washer. Onto the last page and we'll kick it off with the Pittsburgh Floor Jacks. I do wanna point out, it's kind of interesting, they've got the three ton or the two ton uh, jacks, both for $94.99. So I would say the only reason you would go with the lesser is maybe you need that extra space or, or weight. Not sure. We're gonna generalize earthquake impacts in general here. If you don't have one, pick it up. I, I think they're an awesome impact wrench, have had no issues. This is the first generation. So I picked this one up as soon as they came out with the earthquakes and still works awesome today. Since you've got an impact, well, you're gonna want some deep wall sockets. Deep wall or is it deep well? Deep well design. Have I been calling these wrong the whole time? Should it be deep well or deep wall? These are impact rated, so no issues using them with the impact wrench. Just pick these up in both the SAE and metric. On the end, they've got a bunch of compressors and it makes sense with the other items they put on the page. I don't have the McGraw or the Fortress. I still have my good old central pneumatic, eight, hor eight horsepower, eight gallon, and it still works great. So if that one broke, I've mentioned before, I would go out and buy the new McGraw eight gallon, as far as the cheap yellow items down below, I would get the pry bar set and you know, the bag, shop towels, it's, it's like all of the other stuff. It's cheap, if you need it, buy it. Except I hate that style of key hex or Allen wrenches. Um, I, I've broken way too many of those folding handle styles. I like the T handle, that's what I go with. Let me know what I missed or what you're gonna pick up. I'm DIY Pro, we'll see you next time.